Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show. So I have already changed my mind about how I want to do <laughs> haul videos. So what I think I'm gonna do is just do one big haul a month. This month actually might not turn out to be a very big month. Maybe very scarce on the stickers this month. Um, I had to kind of rein it in and quit spending so much. Not so much a no spend, but like maybe the next level up from a no spend. I don't know. That's what October is probably going to end up being for me, but that's okay. So anyway, what I think I'm going to do instead of adding bits and pieces into my plan with me's, which would make them even longer. I don't really want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is just I'm going to wait till the, the end of every single week and whatever I have at the end of the week, which this is the first week of October and this is all I have. <laughs> so um, after each week, I'm just going to film like a little haul segment and then I'll just add them all together and then we'll have one haul at the end of October. And I think that's just how I'm going to do it from now on is just do one haul a month. I think I can manage to do that. All right, so I have an order from Coffee Monsters Co. and then one from Scribble Prints Co. So let's get into the characters this is the freebie for it says august um super cute and i probably will not use this one though i don't really listen to podcasts so um i'm finding myself using more and more of freebies there's a lot that i don't use though so and then of course here is um the card you get where you get to fill in the little beans i actually have one filled and ready to go, but who knows when I'll make my next order. So I actually just went in and wanted these right here, the different scary movies for the month of October or whenever. I thought these were super cute and I had to have them, but I didn't want to go in and just order one sheet. So <laughs> I picked up a few more to make it worth my shipping. Um, I got all of these little um, Halloween characters that are on computers. Cause y'all know I'll be using the computer stickers. And then again, I got more bathtub stickers. I don't know why I'm collecting so many of these, <laughs> but they're cute. I like the little rubber, rubber ducky one. I need to put my little beans on my new card. I did pick up some laundry stickers. These are ones that I'm finding that I do not have a lot of. I think I always go in and I'm like, oh, I don't need laundry stickers. Um, and I'm finding as I'm trying to organize stickers that I really don't have a lot of laundry stickers. So I'm trying to pick up more of those. Although this is like a pretty big one. But sometimes that's all I do in a day. Then I picked up this where it's like a family or just like friends out eating a meal. I think these are super cute and very unique. I don't really see a lot of shops that have something like this. Um, I picked up these with a syringe because I am I'm supposed to get B12 shots monthly. I'm really bad about not doing it, but I'm going to try to do better. So I picked up these to help me kind of keep up with it. And then this one is just like a stress emojis, and it looks like it's more based on like work. Um, I really like the candle one. I actually just went through and lit all of my... Shoot, I always forget to turn off my phone or turn down my phone. Sorry. I just went through today and uh, lit, um, I actually only have like one fall candle, but I lit that one and then I lit all of my other ones. It smells so good in my house right now. So this was a wiggle that I picked up from Scribble Prints Co. I should have looked online to see what the color was. I apologize, but it's like a real pretty like light blue. I'm sure it has a specific name. She names them some pretty cute stuff, but um, so yeah, this is, I think, what she calls her twinkle format, which I enjoy, and I really like her bows. Um, but I thought this was going to be good for like, maybe not necessarily a Christmas spread, but a wintry spread. So of course you get the washi, and then you get the little, it's just like tiny little twinkles, which I like to put on the top with like deco, and then you have your food doodles. You have these... Um, circle icons with your dates and then these are regular headers these are half cut headers and then full overlay boxes you get one two three four five six of those and then you have like your regular icons and then of course your scripts i really love that weekend banner so that was that 
um, wiggle. And then I shouldn't throw my cello away. Um, then I got all of these freebies. I, they have been really churning out the freebies lately at SPC. Um, and with every order here lately, I've gotten a rack bag, which I'm very appreciative of. I actually already have this journaling card. Um, so now I have two. And I don't actually know like what of her freebies or like like I, I don't feel like I probably qualified for any freebies. I only bought just that um, wiggle. So this might all just be like extra stuff. But these are like the um, Once More Would Love Munchkins with um, their bow. Those are headers. Those are super cute. And then I feel like this is her normal freebie. So this might be the only one really that I qualified for. It says planner friends make the best friends. And then you have all your Scribble Prince Co. stuff down here. And then I feel like all of these were just like extra extras. Um, I feel like they got a lot of stuff they're trying to get rid of. <laughs> I really love these boxes. These are some things that I've been using. You guys have seen in my planner spreads. I actually do not have a foil like this. So I don't know when I would ever get to use this one. If I can maybe find a foil to match. I don't know. And then I got these silver um, bow headers. And then some silver bow overlays. And then this was, um, it's almost a full kit. I'm missing a washi sheet, so I don't know what I would use for washi, but I actually really like this kit, so I might keep it and not, like, re-gift it. Um, it's called Mandy. This, this to me feels like, kind of like a, like something for January. Like when you're, you know, you're really thinking that you're going to work out because <laughs> it has like the yoga mat and everything and then like some workout clothes here so this I think might be a January kit for me I don't know like I said I don't know what I would do for washi um because I feel like that's about the only sheet it's missing I'm sure I could find something and make my own washi sheets but that was a whole rack bag right there guys that was a lot so um that is week one of October Alright guys, it is Saturday night of week two of October, so that means I'm not getting any more mail this week. So this is it. Um, when I said I was reeling in my spending, I really, really meant it. <laughs> so I have three very, very small orders. My first one being from Paper and Thread. Here is the freebie. And then, of course, they are formerly known as Sweet Avis Paper, so I guess they're probably trying to get rid of some of these. So they got this sticker. But this is not even sticker related, but this is a sticker slash sewing shop. So um, this is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. So I had been trying to get my hands on this the first round. They sold out super quickly. This is a hand sanitizer holder. So the little um, hand sanitizers that you get from Bath and Body, that's what this is for. So cute. I love this. It's like a, like a cork board top fabric. I've never seen that before. And it's got like gold flecks in it. And then it has like the Mickey bat. This was obviously a Halloween top deal, but I really think it's cute. And I wanted the Pooh Bear in the bee pot bee costume. <laughs> the bee costume. I thought that was super cute. So I'm probably going to stick this on my pocketbook. So that was the first order that came in. Um, the second one is from Beneva Creations. And I think I got all like food doodles. Pretty sure. I need to keep all that because I have to take a picture. All right, so here is the, f they have really, they don't even look cut. I mean, it is, but it's just such, it's such good paper. It's like the premium, like unicorn map. Um, so here's the freebie. Hmm, that's super cute. Of course, I love the cookies. I like the groceries. I'll never use that. Washing my face. Um, I never do that. <laughs> 
that's very usable right now that looks like a breakfast something from mcdonald's and then laundry I, ooh, I need some laundry stickers yes um i will use most of those most of those okay so here's my actual order this is a grilled cheese that's so cute. This is a taco salad. Now, where do you see taco salad stickers at? I feel like this shop has different food doodles that you don't find anywhere else. This is a Caesar salad, you guys. Not just a salad, but a Caesar salad. Um, this is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I don't really eat a lot of, but um, you never know when you need one of these, right? <laughs> this is a popcorn bowl one. Very cute. And, of course, pancakes, because I've not been able to quit eating pancakes lately. So, I got some more pancake stickers, and that was my very tiny order from Beneva Creations. And then, I have, like, an even teenier, tinier order from Glam Planner. So, um, if you would remember, you guys were supposed to be voting. This is actually the kit that won the vote was the Glam Planner Foolish Mortals kit and I had gotten the foil overlays for this and it came with the double box overlay and I didn't want to not use that overlay so I just went ahead and picked up I don't know that I've ever used a double box but I'm going to I'm going to so I went back and picked up this for the Foolish Mortals kit and while I was at it I went ahead and picked up the double box for stop in for a spell i think that one's what that called is um that made no sense i think that's what that one is called um you guys know i can't talk um then i picked up the double box for i think this one is called ghoul power i'm not even going to get to use this kit this year and i'm pretty sad about it and then i went back and picked up um, a double box scene um, for Briar Rose and then also um, en Enchanted maybe? I don't know. This is the... Uh, I don't know. Third, third Princess Kits, but I can't remember the name of this one. Um, but I just went back and picked up that because if you've seen my Get It Done spread with the little double like peekaboo door situation that I did. I thought I might do some more of these with those. And then while I was at it, I picked up the teeny sampler of the um, Disney villains because I thought it was super cute. I really love that one. And I just feel like I've been trying to collect these lately. So that was week two of October, you guys. Not really a whole lot, but again, I'm trying to tone it down right now. <laughs> it's something we all have to do at times, right? All right, week two, that is it. That's all I got for you. All right, guys, it's the end of the week. This is all of my mail that I have received within this week. Um, pretty good mail week for me. I'm pretty happy with all of these purchases. I have a couple of things that are not necessarily, as you can see, sticker related, um, but I want to share them because I thought you guys might be interested in a couple of things. So let's get started. First, I guess, with some of the things that are not necessarily stickers. So I have wax melts. I never thought that I would be hauling wax melts on my channel, but I feel at this point that the planner world, we are all wax melt enthusiasts by now, <laughs> are we not? Um, so I thought I would go ahead and share these. I'm, hold on, this is very, very loud, I apologize. Okay, so I'm, I'm not a huge wax melt person, I will be honest. I prefer candles. Um, and it's, for me, I just feel like I forget to turn my warmer on half the time. And also, I just feel like they don't last very long. But yet, here I am still buying them. So, this is from Fantasy Wax Melts. This is their Not So Scary Bundle. So, this is, of course, if you're in the planner community, have been for a while, you, you know who owns this company. It is Kirsten. Um, I'm not even going to attempt her last name, but it's her and her husband. She is one of my favorite YouTubers to watch for Plan With Me, so I thought I would give it a shot and support her on this new endeavor. 
Um, so this is my first time ordering from her shop. I've actually only ordered wax melts one other time from Etsy. I think, like I said, I just much prefer candles, but I'm giving some of these wax melts a shot. Um, so you do get a little sticker freebie. I do think that this is a uh, Scribble Prints Co. something, I think, maybe. Um, okay, so this one is like fall um, Halloween inspired. This one is called Trick or Treat on Main Street. You can see it's it is candy corn, and I hate candy corn. I think candy corn is disgusting, um, but it's really pretty and sparkly. Um, it's, it smells good. It doesn't smell, I don't know, not necessarily like candy corn. Um, it's a nice scent. It's a nice fall scent. I do approve of this one, even though I think candy corn is completely disgusting. This one smells really good and like fall so I do like that one this one is called boo to you um, it is blackberry bubbly and plum I don't know it has the little Mickey heads in there I like the color mmm yeah that one's that one's nice too I definitely smell I don't know what bubbly is am I reading that right bubbly yeah I smell Definitely the blackberry and plum. Again, I don't know what the bubbly means, but that one's really nice too. I'm getting glitter everywhere. So I'm probably going to go burn burn or melt. Do you say burn? Probably not. Melt one of these here in a minute. This one is called Headless Horseman Fresh Fallen Leaves. Here's the colors. It's got a cute little, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there it is. A little pumpkin head. That one smells nice, too. Yeah, I like that one, too. It's very fallish. I mean, I don't think it necessarily smells like leaves, but, um, yeah, I like that one. Okay. I feel strange doing a wax mail haul. haul. Um, this one is called Spectacular. It is mold cider. I feel like this one probably will be my favorite. I love the, here's the colors. I love the, um, cider smells. That one's interesting. I, you guys, I, I, I can definitely, I guess, smell the cider part, but it smells, to me, it smells kind of bubble gummy, honestly. That one's interesting. Okay. Um, I like all of them. None of them smell bad. Um, I think probably this one is my favorite. This is probably the first one I'm going to go melt in there. I turned on my warmer before I came in here to do this so that I can get the one that's in there cleaned out and start a new one because I am behind on buying candles this year and I only have one fall scent. It's burning right now, but I needed more. Okay, so... This has nothing to do with stickers. Well, it kind of does because it is stickers for your nails. So I, I thought that you guys might possibly be interested in um, me hauling something like this. Um, this is a company I found about a year ago. It's Lillian Fox. I'm pretty sure they are in the USA. And um, so yeah, these are the, I'm pretty sure that they're like the Color Street. If you know anything about Color Street, they're like real nail polish strips. Um, and I've been using them. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got like a bubble in my throat. <laughs> Can you tell what I really love? I've been using them for about a year now and I do, um, I do enjoy these. These are so much cheaper than Color Street, not to knock Color Street in any way, shape, or form. I still buy Color Street too, but Color Street's a little bit more expensive, but I will say that I do think Color Street um, are better quality, I think. But these are, these are a good option. These were only like $3 a pack, you guys. So I did get this one is called Clueless. And I got this one for fall and um, Christmas. It is like red glitter and then of course the buffalo plaid there. Um, is that called buffalo plaid or maybe just plaid? I'm not even sure. But I really liked those colors. This one is called blue eyes. I just thought this was a really 
pretty color of blue. I got this one called Titanium. It's just silver glitter. And then of course, <laughs> I got three packs of the leopard print because that's my absolute favorite and I didn't want to run out. So I actually have some on my nails right now. As you can see, I've had them on for about a, a little over a week. This one is starting to wear down. Um, these two are actually Lillian Fox. This is actually Color Street. They're all starting to wear down a little. But I really enjoy these. I really like putting these on my nails. It's You don't have to paint. It's super simple. So I thought you guys might possibly be interested. You guys let me know if I get any more of anything like this if you want to see more. But definitely check them out. Lily and Fox. Alright, so... The next thing I have, I guess we'll go with, this is a reusable sticker book. This is from No White Space Stickers. This is such a good quality book. Look how pretty that is. But my only thing is, I ordered the wrong size. Honestly thought this was a bigger size. Let me pull my other one. This is the one that I normally use, the one you guys have seen. You can see the size comparison. I needed a size this big and I guess I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I thought I ordered the right size, but I did not. But that's okay. I'll find a use for it somehow. But you guys, there's like, I think, I want to say she said a 100 pages or maybe it's like front and back 100 page use, I guess. There's a lot of pages in this book and it's like really hard covering. It's a very like top quality um, reusable sticker book here. So she actually, these were pre-order, so I waited quite a while to get this one. And then she actually just did, I guess, the overstock of everything. She did that sale yesterday. I set an alarm and I went in and I got one this size. So um, I got a different, it was still the castle, but it was different. So I will show you that, guys, that one whenever I get that one in the mail, but it's so pretty. I love the hollow, and of course, I love the Tinkerbell. Very pretty. Okay, so my next thing, we'll go ahead and get into the stickers. I got this kit from Scribble Prints Co. It's so cute, but here's, let's see. Here is, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this. I'm not gonna need it after this. Here is the journaling card. This is super pretty. I'll probably keep this for my cloud for next year. Just a pretty Christmas kitchen scene there. And then here are, I got a lot of freebies. I love these. So here are some of the glitter boxes like I use um, that I make for myself a lot. So these are very good for Christmas this year. And then of course there is the SPC Once More With Love. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten one of these in a while. This may just be a Christmas thing because I remember getting them for Christmas last year too. So I did get those two freebies as well. But this is what I actually ordered. I saw this and I was just like, I have to have this. So I, I'm having a hard time as I, I was with Halloween picking out Christmas kits because I only get four chances at it. But I just thought this was so pretty. And I feel like... Most of my kits that I'm using for Christmas this year are like non-traditional Christmas colors because I'm definitely using this. It is so stinking pretty. This one is called Magic Morning and it's just, oh, I love it. This is totally my jam. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little Tinkerbell on the tree. I love that hairdo. I probably need to try that next time for <laughs> TPC. I don't even know how to begin to do that, but it's just so cute. And like, I don't even have kids, but that little kid scene is adorable. Look at the little Mickey hand gloves. I just, I probably will use that too. And I actually, this was the freebie. I probably am gonna use the babies, the kids, everything. Like, I don't even care that I don't have kids or like, I mean, there's small kids in my family, but. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use it all because I think it's all just so adorable. So cute. So I did get the mini kit. So there is five pages. I'm happy about the deco. I don't think this is her newer format. She did just change some things. Um, that's cute. The gingerbread man. 
And then I did add on the washi strip because it was in a cool ombre. And then I did add on the fashion girls as well because I thought they were super cute. Okay, so that was SPC. Let me go ahead and stop and start my camera before it stops itself. All right, so my last sticker order is, of course, from Glam Planner. I, I feel like you probably have already seen that I mostly order just from SPC and Glam Planner. My kits, just the kits. I just, I don't know. They're, they're just totally my jam and... Okay, sorry my husband came in. So I was saying um, they're just totally my jam. I love the way they design their kits and how they turn out. L in particular uses one of my favorite artists, which is this kit. Um, and I just, hers are very hard to pass up for me just because I do really, really love the artist that she uses. So this one is, oh, this one's called, mm, I really, one thing, I just, I wish she would put the name of her kits on this. And I should have looked it up before I got on this video. I want to think it's like something spiced or I don't know. I knew it and then I lost it. I'm sorry. So I don't remember the name of this kit, but it is, it is very pretty. And honestly, the artist actually put out a, um, some art after this kit came out that is like, it's very similar. It has the same vibe to this art, but it's like darker tones. And if I had known she was going to do that, I probably would have just skipped this one and made my own. But it is what it is and maybe I can use that art next year, but I just really love this. It's so pretty. I just, they're, they're like these houses in these kits put my house to shame and I feel like I say it every time that I wish my house looked like this. I wish I had the eye to like decorate like that. I'm not a good decorator, I, but I wish like I would totally do something like this. It's just so pretty. I really wish I remember the name of the kit. Mm, oh well. Anyway. When I film it in my planner, I definitely will have the name to it. But yeah, so these are the full boxes. I actually just got the full boxes and the washi. I'm kicking myself for not ordering mini kits because I have been missing the deco. I just, I wish like the deco sheet could be sold separately and I would do that. But I guess I'll start purchasing mini kits again. But I did just get the full boxes and I got the washi sheet, which I think is really pretty too. And then I did add on the Fashion Girls. I added on this little box because I just thought that it was adorable. And I did add on the double box, big box. I don't know what she calls them. I think the double box. Um, so that is my Glam Planner stickers. And then I have one more thing. I'm very excited about these. So if you don't know, I'll go ahead and tell you. I am going to be using the Aura Estelle Cloud next year for my 2021 planner. I have no idea what I'm doing in a rings. Like, nothing. I have no idea how to decorate it. I don't know where to get things. Everything that, like, I find, I can't find things to, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm doing. And I feel like I cannot put things together very well and it look, like, aesthetically pleasing. So, I was very excited when I seen these, this is from the Penny Pages, and these is like, these is, <laughs> this is like a 12 month insert all in one. And I thought this would be so easy for me to start off with since I have no idea what I'm doing. So if you're like me and you're new to rings and you're starting in the cloud next year or just rings in general and you don't know where to start, um, I think this is such a good option. So did I say it's from the Penny Pages? This is the Penny Pages. This I got it during the last TPC sale. She is one of the TPC regulars. So I did get some um, sticker freebies. These are so cute. So this is Penny. Um, and here lately, Destiny, who is the owner of Penny Pages, she's so sweet. She's really been into rainbows, and I dig it. She's been doing, like, Christmas rainbows and her Halloween rainbows, I think, were my favorite because they had bats. Um, and I, I messaged her, and I told her that she needed to do these with all the rainbows. So maybe she'll do that. Destiny, if you're watching, I think I need that for 2022. So I got mine 
unpunched. You can get them punched or unpunched. I thought it would be better for me to get mine unpunched so I can make them fit in my cloud the way I needed them to. But you guys, like you're all set for all 12 months. And like, I just love that it's black and white. I got the cloud that is black with um, the silver hardware and I think these are gonna look so good. I just love that everything is like, it matches but but it's different so it's hashtag same but different <laughs> see what i did there so each month is a little different so this one would be your january month and then you have these like notes pages um i don't know exactly if i will do anything with this part or not and then you have your backside that has like the little snowflakes yeah there's snowflakes so um, I think what I'm going to do is make me some tabs and put the tabs on here that say January, February, March, and so on. So then you have your February for Valentine's Day. Here is March with some rainbows. April showers brings May flowers. I just think this is so cute and so well done. Is this June? Come on, June. July, August, September, October, I love the bats, November, and then here is your December. And like, I feel like you could even have like, if you have kids, you could have your kids like color these in and it'd be even that more like special to you. Um, I think that's a good idea. So I, I think I might make like um, maybe foiled or maybe I'll just keep it simple and keep it black and white. But I'll probably put the month, every month name here, make something to fit in there. But I think I'm definitely going to make the tabs to go on the side. That way they stick out and I can just, um, you know, turn right to the page. But yeah, I'm very excited about these. I, like I said, I just think this is such a good way to start out a rings planner if you're like overwhelmed like I am because there's just like so many inserts and vellum and acetone and like I just I don't even know where to begin so I just thought this was going to be so simple for me to start out with and just super cute I lo like I said I love that it's all just very uniformed black and white it's the same but it's different every month and I just think this is going to be perfect for me so definitely check these out like I said again my broken record syndrome if you're like me and you don't know where to begin this is a great option to start with all right so that is everything I had for this week I have one more week to go and then I will get this haul posted um, for the month of October I'm excited to start doing it this way I'm excited that I had some other things other than stickers. Definitely let me know if you like the wax melt hauls, if you want to see more of Lillian Fox and like Color Street and that sort of thing. If not, I'll omit them next time. But that is it for this week. All right, guys, this is the last of the October haul. October has left us. I'm so sad. I cannot, it's actually November 1st as I'm filming this. I cannot believe it's already November, but I got three packages this week. This one was a mystery kit, which I am going to give you ample time to turn away if you need to. But first up is, I did go back and order another one of these, the bigger size this time. So this one is probably what I'm going to start using for when I prep my plan with me's but I got the castle again but this one had like the pretty little fashion girl on it and this one is actually in rose gold this time so this one is from no white space stickers also this is just a really really good quality book you guys and there's like a ton of pages in here so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with the smaller one I was thinking I might use that one and put the things that I will definitely use off of freebies into that one possibly I don't know um so yeah I really like this it's so pretty all right my next order is once more with love I can't seem to quit ordering all of the munchkins um so here is 
the journaling card it says light the way for others the best pe the best people help other people shine and then there's um a note from marg on the back and so let me get all of that information going all right here are my freebies um, I don't know if I actually ordered during this sale. It says, thank you for shopping the wild collab sale. Your support is so special to us. Or if this was just a leftover. Um, I think this is actually the October freebie. Super cute. And then I also got this silver hollow one. Which I don't really tend to use characters that are in foil for whatever reason. Okay, so this is my actual order. I got the anxiety ones. I think I had one of these on a past freebie and I just really, really like that one. I think it can be used for just a number of different things other than anxiety too. So I went ahead and got this sheet. And then this was the Watch Scary Movie ones. I liked it because it wasn't like a particular movie you know have those other ones that it's like the actual movie in the screen so this is just like an anytime because I tend to watch scary movies not just in October you know <laughs> and then this is the heartbreak 2.0 I have with the things that have happened in the past month for me I've went back and found some more specific stickers like this I mean you hate having to buy these kinds of things but yeah and I th these are the ones, I think these next two, yeah, are the ones that actually made me go back and, and um, make another order. She, I think, recently just got a new dog. So she's gotten um, some new dog um, stickers. And this one says puppy cuddles. I just thought it was super cute. And then a puppy bath one. Um, so yeah, since I was buying just two sheets of stickers, of course, I always have to go back and pick up a few more to make my shipping worth it. So this one says ready to eat. So it's just a generalized, if there's uh, something that we're eating that I don't have a specific sticker for, that's what I'll use those for. I have no idea weigh in munchkins. I don't need these at this point, obviously. <laughs> cooking time 2.0, another one of those, like just cooking in general, not specifically like pizza, taco night, or anything like that. These will be great for that. Then I did get a headache 2.0 one because y'all know I be getting the headaches all the dang time. So picked up one of those and then too tired to move. Um, I feel like this most days, so I definitely needed to pick those up. All right, so that was my order from Once More With Love. And then my last order is my very first subscription. I did sign up to get the um, mystery kit from Scribble Prints Co. So I'm gonna give you guys time. I feel like by now you've probably either already watched her video or you've already received yours, but just in case, I'm gonna give you time to turn away. I saved it for last, so we're gonna count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I am so excited for this kit and I'm so glad that I signed up when I did. I think this is just gorgeous now. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I did sign up for the Ultimate, I think is what it's called, but this is just like a really thick vinyl. I'm not gonna try to pull it off, it'll take me forever. It's a vinyl sticker, but it's really thick, really good quality. I guess probably maybe stick it in my cloud. Um, I'm not gonna give it away just yet. Um, so when you do order an Ultimate, you get a foil bundle as well, which is why ultimately I signed up for it. I wanted like the whole shebang. So I did get this little sampler. This bundle is in what she calls, oh, I don't even know. So I possibly, I think this one would be what my silver pixie is. I don't know. I think it's sparkly hollow is what she calls it. It's silver pixie in my shop. I'm pretty sure she calls it sparkly hollow. So it is a bunch of little um, snowflakes, which the kit is a winter theme. This is two scripts. One says play in the snow. One says build a snowman. And then this looks kind of like a... No, these are full boxes, but they're turned this way. I was like, I'm not sure what this is. But if you turn them this way, they're two full box overlays. That's exciting. And then there's just, 
There's so much of a bundle that I don't use though, so I don't know. I really feel like I need to start using some of these things, but here are the icons and your numbers. Here are half cut headers and then full headers. You get two, let's see, you get three of these pages. So normally in like a a normal bundle for her, you would get six of these. So you're getting half of what you get in like a full bundle and then I feel like everything else is included in one of her bundles though. So these are some more icons. You've got some scripts and then here is what the washi looks like which I think is just gorgeous. All right so here's the kit. I'm so happy I got this one. It's so pretty. It's like I didn't even know that I needed a winter mermaid kit but I needed a winter mermaid kit. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. It's so, so pretty. I love the colors. I love that hair. I love every box. It's just so good. And then there's that polar bear again. It's just so pretty. And then since I got the ultimate, I'm going to try my best to just use what is in this kit because I don't want to like what this was like $30. I don't want to waste my money and make all of my extras. So when you see me do this, I'm going to try real, real hard <laughs> to not make anything to go with it and to actually use what's included. So I do get two extra boxes this time, which I don't normally get with a mini kit. I'm super excited about that. I get all of these, which I do make extra. I'm kind of feeling like there's not enough of them though, so I don't know. She did just reformat and she... I think this is an older one though, so... I'm excited to see what the newer format ones. I mean, there's a video on it, but I don't quite remember what all she includes in it. So here are all of the sheets that you get. Yeah, this is an old format. Um, there's the washi sheet. And then with the ultimate, you do get all of the add-ons. So I did get the washi strip. I do get all of those gorgeous extra mermaid boxes. And then I do get all the headers and then some more boxes. So very happy to have signed up just in time for this kit. I'm excited to see what the next few months hold as far as this subscription goes to see if I'm going to keep it or not. So far, it's two thumbs up for me. So um, I really do love SPC kits, so I don't see me um, getting rid of it anytime soon. So that is my October haul, you guys. I kind of felt like I wasn't going to spend a lot this month, and honestly, I really didn't. But all in all, it turned out to be quite a bit, right? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be, but I did scale back from the month before, so there is that, if that tells you anything, but you anyway. know. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here on this one and start uploading this one, so hopefully it'll be up by tomorrow, which is November 2nd, and I will start preparing for November's. Talk to you guys later. Bye.